part of the returning cast. Dante Logan coming forward for Jamaica College. The first kicker for them on the afternoon. Tension, drama, nerves. Can this be Logan's moment? Can this be Williams' moment? Logan gets it in. Good kick by Logan. Rise smile from Jaheim Williams. He's good in penalties as well, Williams, but he yeah, went a bit early. Not sure he was on the line either. Was there a slight touch as well? I think there was, you know. But enough on it from Logan. Jason Charles came on in the dying moment of this encounter. Yeah, the first of the many substitutes. So let's see. Marvin Taylor also came on late in this contest. Can he convert from 12 yards? Taylor versus Charles. That was a good penalty. Shows the wrong way. Both keepers going the wrong way for the first kicks. Held his composure well did Taylor. Good penalty. Jaheim Williams against the captain. Scoring Round two. Time. Round two. This battle. Fares won the first. Can he win again? Yes, he does. Well taken from the Vincentian. This time, Williams, no smile. Games going on, of course. Hesitation and just froze the keeper. That was an excellent penalty into the far triangle. Even if he had gone the right way, Williams, he wouldn't have saved that. And I guess he did lean the right way, but no chance. Clinical from the skipper. Nicole Gale. You always want to kick first because you can then see what is happening. Whether you miss, you get a chance to then make the save. You get a lead, you put the pressure. On the kick, on the following kicker, Charles versus Gale. It's a standoff, like a Western movie. Can Gale fire? He does. That was a good penalty. Gets the monkey off his back. He was a part of the penalty shootout last year in the Manning Cup final. Yeah, did kick did Nicoy Gale. Defensive midfielder, but he's been generally good from the spot on a few occasions. He's been called upon All square Dylan John comes forward now Pretty boots and all Highlight player for JC this season probably their player of the season Dylan John. Can he bring glory? Cheeky. Oh, wow. Well, if that wasn't confident, I don't know what is. That was a really confident kick from Dylan John. Almost turned his body around, and we've seen players so many times miss from those kind of situations, and then just slotted it. Play the eye game with Jaheim Williams and he won the battle. They have a swagger about them, Jamaica College. Delaney White. Can he convert? For was a substitute, but yeah. not so late. Not so late. Yeah. He would have warmed into the game nicely. Right now the breeze would probably feel cold though. Jason Charles. Trying to give the optical illusion that there's much space. Delaney White doesn't fall for it though. Has a second go as well. Again, the keeper goes the wrong way. Well, this change hasn't worked for JC so far. 
taking out Renton, putting in Charles. Yeah. Went too early, chose the wrong way. Actually, that was Davian Blackburn. The numbers are so close, the three and the eight. And Blackburn was one of those late yeah, substitutes. He, was. he came on with Taylor. Yeah. So, so far, it's paid dividends for Philip Williams. To hear Lawrence. Let's see if he can deliver from 12 yards. Jaheim Williams continues to step as cool as you like, and he walks away. Confident with the left foot, Lawrence stutter step as well, and the hesitation. And well, look at Jaheim Williams. He was he wasn't on the line for sure by the time the kick was taken. So had that missed, it would have been called back. Have to have one foot on the line. At least. Mm. Four three is it? It is Delaney White now. Did he hear me and will he oblige? Yes, he will. Good kick from White. Lots of pace behind it. Again, Charles goes the wrong way. 4-4. Four, four. Rejoicing for St. Andrew Technical at the moment. They're still in it. Perfect scorecard thus far. Jabari Howell steps forward for Jamaica College. Howell. Oh! Oh my word! Oh my word! Tension mounts now! The report card has been spoiled! And can St. Andrew Technical be the teachers? Rejected by the crossbar, Chris Taylor. Yeah, the keeper went the wrong way. But he couldn't get it two inches lower. What a moment. Just lifting, leaning back at the rock at the last moment. And you score, you win, St. Andrew Technical. Charles hasn't gone the right way so far, hasn't been able to come up with a save. And it's the captain, Livingston, who can win it. Their first senior title since 1987. Richard Livingston, can he give the final blow? Livingston is saved! Oh, it's all happening. Jason Charles finally gets one right and what a moment to get it right pain anguish on the face of richard livingston jamaica college lift the fight again and livingston didn't look up at the keeper at all if he did he would have seen that charles went early charles was already leaving leaning to the left hand side and livingston who scored a penalty for stats in the earlier rounds can't convert today in the semi-final, in fact, that penalty that he scored. Wow. The pressure of the moment, too much. And JC live again as they have so many times in ba their history. Malachi Sterling now won the penalty. Converts his advantage, Jamaica College. Arguably the best player on the park today, Malachi Sterling. Love how he, he has put his game together, Sterling, and never know any doubt on his face that he was going to convert that. Can Charles make it two in two in terms of the save? It's six five. We're in sudden death. JC with the advantage. Or is it five four actually? But we're in sudden death. Alex Xavier Gooden. Can he keep St. Andrew Technical in it? Oh, there was venom behind that one. I'm surprised that he kicked so late, Alex Xavier Gooden. He's kicked in all of the penalty shootouts they have had. And he's a solid kicker. 
good technique. Look at that. That was a great in-step strike. Straight down the middle. And even if Charles had stood his ground, well, he would have been in problems there. Five all. So now we're, well, we've gotten into the kickers who have not been preferred. Yeah. Ronaldo Barrett came on for penalties, I'm sure. Well, clearly not. Let's see. Again, Williams just needs to hold his ground a little longer, Williams. He's going way too early. Even that penalty that was missed, it's how that missed it, but he went the wrong way as well. He is jumping way too early. Look at this. He is off to the races. Yeah. And yeah, the Jamaica College players just holding their kick and waiting for him. Anyhow, we still have to finish it. Ajitai Marshall. Can he deliver? Can he keep them alive? There's been so much drama. Marshall. Hasn't been a bad penalty shootout at all. Yeah. Nice kick from Marshall. Again, Charles going the wrong way, but didn't, didn't actually go early. It was just a really good penalty. Probably was actually leaning the right shoulder, even though he didn't dive. Wrong foot in the keeper, and Marshall did well. Philip Williams, what's on his mind? Has got these knuckle competitions right at the senior level with Fort Moore United. But hasn't quite been able to get it done here at the schoolboy level. Jamaica College. Saved! There is yet hope for stats. And the referee not hearing the entreaty. Well, of Zinedine McLean, who thought is the argument that the keeper was off his line. Well, the assistant referee is right there. And he's been sent away, McLean, still pleading. The referee has been called. The fourth official has something to say. I think he's on the line. His foot is on the line. No problems there. I think so. No problems there. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I think the officials are saying that the ball was moving. So it's not a case of the kicker not, of the keeper not being on the line. But if the ball was moving, that's a mistake from Jamaica College, who yeah. missed the penalty. Yeah. So why is it being kicked over? Kelsey Anderson getting a firm talking to from the stats coaching staff. The ball moving would have been a fault of the kicker who missed. Yeah. So why should why should he it was moving, you know. It was moving at first. Let's look here. Yeah, it didn't move it, there. Yeah, it was moving. It was moving, to be honest. But on the spot, moving. But why well, should Senator Technical? Fault of the kicker. Yeah, why should Senator Technical suffer? Yeah, definitely. Jaheim Williams was on the line. His left foot was on the line. And the area has been affected. And no wonder well, the ball. Well, well. What do we have here? McLean gets another bite of the cherry. He does well the second time of asking. Tahim Williams remonstrating. I, I think really stats have been hard done by here. I, yeah. I, 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 I would need to dig deeper in the rules, but Considering that the kicker is the one who places the ball, 
had the kicker scored, I could agree with them saying, no, this needs to be taken over because the ball was moving. But he missed, and the goalkeeper had done everything right. Why should he pay the price? Kevin Hall, for stats. Blasted over! Disaster for St. Andrew Technical once more! Joy for JC! They're rejoicing! Old Hope Road, filled with hope! And the old story continues for St. Andrew Technical. How do you console them after this? After this.